All right, let's look at the next question. Which of the following statement is true concerning the steering committee? Option number A, steering committee membership is composed of heads from each department. Option number B, the steering committee focuses on the agenda of IT issues. Option number C, absence of a former charter indicates a lack of control. And option number D, the steering committee conducts formal management oversight. Now, let's read this question very carefully because you know, the question belongs to domain number two, very simple domain. And the question is also from a simple topic steering committee, but still even after that, lot of people was not able to you know answer this question correctly. Yes, some people answered it as A, some people said B, some people said D. All right. So the important thing is to first read the question very carefully. And in fact, in exam also, you know, the most important thing is to you know, how well are you able to read and interpret the question? As I always say that, you know, active reading is very important and not just passive reading. All right. So always pay attention to each and every word and definitely there will be at least one hint in the question. Now, if you look at the question carefully, it says that which of the following statement is true concerning the most important word over here is concern concerning the steering committee. Now again, read the option. Option number A, steering committee membership is composed of heads from each department. It's not a concern. In fact, the steering committee should include, you know, the top level people. So again, it's not a concern. Option number B, the steering committee focuses on the agenda of IT issues. Again, it's not a concern. In fact, it's their roles and responsibility to focus on the agenda of IT issues. All right. Option number D, the steering committee conducts formal management oversight review. Again, it's not a concern. In fact, it's a part of the role. All right. The correct option over here is point number C, absence of a former charter. Now, some people were having confusion that, you know, we have only learned about audit charter in domain number one. All right. And in fact, you know, if you read your CRM, you know, they have, they have only mentioned about the audit charter, but try to apply your logic. What is charter? Charter is a document. It's in, in layman's language. It's just a document which defines the roles and responsibility. If it's an audit charter, it will define the, you know, their roles, authorities, responsibilities of the IS audit department. All right. Similarly, in case of steering committee, also there is what? steering committee charter all right see even if you even if you are not aware of something known as steering committee charter even after that you can easily be able to answer these kind of questions if you if you can read the question well because this question was based on the concept of odd man out point number a point number b and point number d all right. Basically, point number C is is a is a odd man out out of all the following four options. Right. So even if you are not aware of the you know concept like you know steering committee charter, even after that, if you are able to understand, read, interpret the question well, you can able to answer this question correctly even after not knowing something known as steering committee charter. All right, because obviously A, A, B and D is not a concern. So the leftover option is option number C. So obviously that will have to be the answer. All right. So the correct option over here is absence of a former charter indicates a lack of control.